Hello everyone, SimCFI here. Now we're back over the fields. We're going to do some ground reference maneuvers. Ground reference maneuvers is all about controlling wind drift. So you know, if you look at a boat in a current or a plane over, the, over a road, if there's no wind, you point forward, it goes forward. Now if you have a current or a wind, if you point forward, the plane is going to have a ground track going a little bit sideways. So to maintain the ground track that you want, you have to crab into the wind a little bit or turn into the wind. So the first maneuver we're going to do is a turn around a point. And the whole idea is to maintain a constant radius turn all the way around the circle. So you start the maneuver going into it on the downwind leg. It's kind of going the opposite. So you start down here. And when, if you have like 115 miles per hour indicated airspeed, if you have a 10 mile per hour wind, that's going to push you to about 125 miles per hour ground speed. The, the indicated air speed is going to stay the same all the way around the circle. Your ground speed is going to be what changes. The faster your ground speed, the steeper the bank angle that's required. We kind of touched on that with the slow flight. If you remember in slow flight, we needed um, a shallower bank angle to, to, and we had a pretty good rate of turn. So when you're going faster, you have to have a steep bank angle. And as you turn upwind, you have a shallow bank angle. So steep to shallow is what's going on. Now in the crosswind portions, we have to crab into the wind because the wind is coming from the side. So if you have this point in the center, we're looking right down the wing. The crab into the wind, the crab into the wind, the wing needs to be a little bit behind the point. And on this side, the wing needs to be a little bit in front of the point. It kind of looks like they're doing that here in this image, but you get the idea with that crabbing. Then we're going to do an S-turn across a road. We enter downwind, steep bank because it's downwind, and then a little bit moderate, and you crab into the wind here. Then you come across the road wings level, shallowest bank angle, rolling into wings level, and then shallow bank angle to the right, and a little bit of crabbing into the wind. So this time, you're going to crab to the left because the wind is coming from the left side and then you come across steepen up that bank angle because we're going downwind again increasing the ground speed okay so let's try to make that work in this simulator a little more difficult in the simulator so we need to know the winds and uh, you can listen to the AWOS you can look you can look for uh, tractors in the fields and look at their dust or you can hit shift Z and you see the wind, 301 at 15 knots. It was 314 there that we can put it. Just put the heading bug where the wind is coming from. And then you want to find a point to do it at. And again, this is also one where you have to choose altitude and airspeed. So you want to choose an altitude between 600 and 1,000 feet above ground level, AGL. Since the ground out here is around 100 feet, I'm just going to choose 1,000 feet MSL on the altimeter to make it easy. And we're going to use 2,200 RPM for 115 miles per hour. So to enter on the downwind leg, let's use this white intersection here where the wingtip is. And enter downwind will turn into it now. You keep our 1,000 feet and 115 miles per hour. So the wind is going to be at our back starting this maneuver that's going to require the steepest bank angle. So let's get the wings right around here. So you want to wait until your point is right below the wing or right in the middle of the windshield if it's a Cessna. Then you turn into it, steep bank about 30 to start and pitch back a bit for that bank angle to keep your altitude. Now the wind is coming from the left, so you see how we get the point in front of the wing to crab into the wind. And see how the indicated airspeed does not change. I have, I have the heading bug pointing where the wind is, so now we're starting to go upwind. So we need to shallow out the bank angle, or else we're going to start turning too tight into that intersection. Okay, we're at 1,000 feet, 115, get that airspeed up a little bit. Okay, now we're, we're directly upwind, so this would be shallowest bank angle, see? We're at like 10 to 15 degrees of bank. And also, since the wind is coming from the right, we need to crab to the right. So let that point get a little bit behind the wing now. Always oh, see how I'm checking forward and back. It's a division of attention between the maneuver, you 
now looking outside for traffic and keeping your altitude and airspeed in check. Okay, now we're kind of done crabbing. We're starting to go downwind. We're going to have to start steepening up the bank angle. It's a little bit premature. Now we go a little bit steeper. We're directly downwind. A little bumpy out here. Keep that bank angle up. And as we start rolling into the crosswind, you want to let the point slide to the front of the wing. And you see how we're maintaining a constant radius turn around this point. So that's the idea of the turn around a point. Now to do an S turn, we're going to use this road that we're crossing right now. Now that's a good road, goes all the way across, there's no houses. So we're going to fly upwind here for a little bit, and then we'll enter the maneuver on the downwind. So what you got to do uh, for that S turn, it's like two halves of a turn around the point. And when you roll into the maneuver, you just have to dynamically pick your points. So you, you get your bank angle, pick a point, go around that point. And so we'll show you how that works. So I'll turn back towards that road. Again, you don't want to get lost in your maneuvers. Okay, so we're entering on the downwind leg for the S turn. Bit of left rudder here. We want to enter the road perpendicular, wings level, cross over it halfway, wings level, and then the other half you cross over wings level. Let's get that thousand feet, that'll get our speed down. Coming up perpendicular, and let's turn into it. About 30 degrees of bankers are downwind. We'll choose that intersection right down there. Oh, that's the same one. Look at that. Okay, so half turn around a point around this guy. So we keep it steep. Get that uh, point ahead of the wing to crab into it a little bit. And we have to start shallowing out the bank angle. Now we're turning a little bit upwind. Start reducing that bank angle. See, we don't want to get wings level too early across this road. It's all about timing. Okay. Now we cross the road wings level, roll the other way, shallow bank about 20 degrees. We'll pick this spot back here, that's where it should be. And so we're crabbing into the winds. Alright, the wind is coming from uh, the left side, so you want that point to be a little bit behind. Maintaining a thousand feet and 115 miles an hour. And as you start going downwind, we have to start steepening up the turn. We'll do another S turn across. Here we're coming across the road. It's all about timing to get the wings level as we cross the road. So whatever your point is, you want it to be like right at the wingtip as you cross in this road. It kind of makes it easy. So there's wings level. Let's roll, steep turn, this intersection right there off the wingtip. So now, we're going to let this point get ahead of the wing a little bit. Keep her 1,000 feet, 115 miles an hour. Just a little bit of rudder. You don't want to overdo the rudder. That's one of the common errors in this maneuver. Okay, so we're crabbing. And now we want to start reducing that bank angle as we get closer to the road and more upwind. Keep the point right at the wingtip. Roll across the road. Right about there, this little spot down here. Might be a little too steep, but we're crabbing. So we're going to let it get behind the wind because the wind is coming from the left side now. And as we start rolling into downwind, pick up that nose. We're a little fast, a little low. Points back there. We've got to increase the bank angle now. Hard to see it when you get into the steeper maneuvers when it's, it's kind of strong winds out here. There's the point. Start getting that point closer to the wing tip, get the nose up. And uh, yeah, you want to get that bank a little more shallow. And there we go, wings level across the road, 1,000 feet. Just about 5 miles per hour slow. Pretty much constant radius. So that's your S turn and turn around a point. They also have the uh, rectangular course. And it's basically 4 quarters of a turn around a point, basically. You just find a square field and do that. Sometimes the examiners just like to call it the traffic pattern. So when you get back to the airport, you just kind of do that. Now, if you notice during my ground reference maneuvers, since we're right around 1,000 feet or less, AGL, just keep the fuel pump and landing light on. Fuel pump on in case the 
engine driven pump fails, you have time to turn it on. And the landing light's good to have on when you're maneuvering down low anyways. Alright, we'll see you in the next video when we finally make it back to the airport.